now let's try to write down the normal form or strategic form representation of this extensive form game. Well, I would like to underline one very important thing. Uh, it is true that when we treat, for example, strategy profile, we write down a strategy for each player and for each type. And so that means we are treating each type as if this type is a player. But actually, in reality, these types are not players. Why is that so? Well, because these types cannot coexist right? Either player one is high type or low type, uh, low type or high type, but cannot be both, meaning player one cannot be low type and at the same time high type. It has to be only one of them. So in that sense, these two types cannot coexist. What does that mean? That means when you write the normal form of this extensive form game or strategic form of this extensive form game, you cannot treat this as if there are three players. Player one is choosing row, player two is choosing column, and player three is choosing uh, matrix. No, 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 no. There's no such thing here. Why is that so? Once again, this is very, very important. These two types cannot coexist. So these are cannot choose actions at the same time. All right, that's very, very important. And hence, when we write the normal form or strategic form representation, this is what we are gonna do. Yes, we do have two matrices, but it's not because one player chooses one matrix over the other. It is the nature that determines what matrix will be realized. So this is, by the way, ex exactly what we did in Bayesian games. If you don't remember, please go back to those lecture videos and overview or, or sort of go over the Bayesian games. Uh, again, the, this idea uh, always coming from this uh, incompleteness of the information. So the nature determines the type of player one. And so firm two plays this game either with type uh, low type firm one or high type firm one. All right. So nobody chooses uh, these uh, 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 matrices. Well, the nature does, but it, nature is not a player in this game. All right. I did already fill out all those payoffs, but I wanted to do it to, together with you. So here, remember, player one, the low type, or so here I have the strategies for low type of player one, four and eight, and here I have the high types uh, strategies because they are exactly the same. Uh, you know, you may think of these are both uh, the same player, while well, the same player but different types. Uh, be careful about that. Uh, well, the player two has four strategies, so there are four columns for that reason. Well. How am I going to fill out those uh, uh, sort of boxes? Well, simple. So here, uh, again, this matrix is all about low cost firm one. So therefore we should be looking at this side of the game because this side of this game is, 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 is worried about the high cost. And in order to fill out these metrics, we have to look at this, this part of this game because this is for the high cost firm one. So now for the low cost firm one, it is choosing four units of quantity. So it's the first row, good. And so therefore, uh, you know, the payoffs are either one of those. It depends on what firm two plays in this info set. Remember in those strategies, the first one tells me what info set it is. So it is, these are the first info sets. The second strategy, the second action, refers to the action in the second info set, which I don't care. Why? Well, because the low cost firm didn't choose uh, uh, the uh, eight. Right? So here, uh, given that firm one is choosing four, and I am looking the first uh, action, so whenever I see four, it means the payoff is five and five. And whenever I see eight, the payoffs are three and seven. All right, when firm one, the low cost firm one plays eight, however, 
Well, then the payoffs are going to be either this or this, depending on what firm one, uh, firm two is playing. So here it is very important that we should be looking at uh, firm two's uh, second actions. All right. So whenever you see four, that means the payoff is seven seven. And so here as well, because the second action is four. Whenever you see eight, the payoffs are ten twelve. All right, and so therefore, uh, th this is the uh, 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 matrix, a uh, normal form representation. And again, I, I just fill out those uh, metrics for you. But again, would be. And then I can find the Nash equilibrium. But remember, the Nash equilibrium of a Bayesian game was called Bayesian Nash equilibrium. So in a sense, I can say always this, in a Bayesian game, in a Bayesian game, or let's put it this way, in a game with uh, incomplete info, incomplete information, uh, a, 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 in, a, in a Bayesian game or in a game with incomplete information, Nash equilibrium and Bayesian Nash equilibrium are exactly the same thing, okay? By the definition of Bayesian Nash equilibrium. So therefore, here, if we want, we can find the Bayesian Nash equilibrium of this game. Uh, I am not going to find it, uh, but what I'm going to do is just pick randomly one strategy profile and verify if it is a Bayesian Nash equilibrium or not. So let's pick randomly, by the way. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what the Nash equilibrium... I mean, again, by the way, it's in, in incomplete information games, whether it's dynamic extensive form game or normal form or static game, uh, sometimes I'm going to call Nash equilibrium, sometimes I'm going to call Bayesian Nash equilibrium, but don't forget, they mean exactly the same thing. Uh, so don't confuse yourself when I use different uh, uh, terminology. So um, let's pick one. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, four, four, comma, four, four. All right. So is this a, a Bayesian Nash equilibrium or Nash equilibrium of this game? Well, let's see. What does that mean? That means player two, first of all, is playing four, four. Okay. Uh, let's square this strategy because I'm going to fix it and see if firm one of type one is best responding. Uh, well, given that firm two is playing 4-4, four, four, what is the best response for low type firm one? Uh, well, is it four and getting five payoff or is it seven uh, I'm sorry, is it playing eight and getting seven payoff? Remember, the first numbers always belong to the first player. Um, oh, by the way, this is another sign why, uh, you know, we do have only two payoffs. Uh, we do not have three payoffs. Normally, when we have three players, we have three payoffs, right? But we, here we have two payoffs. Again, that's simply because we do not have, in fact, three players. We have two players of different types. So here, obviously, eight is the best response, not four. All right. So eight is a best response for type low. Uh, best response to what? Uh, to 4, 4, 4. Given that player, uh, uh, player uh, one of type high plays 4, by the way, it's not really important. Given that player 2, firm 2 is playing 4 and 4, 8 is the best response. So therefore, this is not a Bayesian Nash equilibrium. All right, as simple as this. By the way, I told you I'm going to just pick one uh, sort of uh, example. But as you see, once you pick this example and realize that four is not a best response, you probably have seen the tendency. In order to find a Bayesian Nash equilibrium, one thing I should be doing is, given the player two strategy, I should be finding the best responses for firm one, at least. Right, yeah, let's do that. Well, here, eight is the best response. Here, clearly, 10 is the best response. Here, again, 8 is the best. Oh, I'm sorry, 8 is the best response. And here, 8. Is, so you see what? 
Eight is always the best response for a low firm, a uh, low uh, type firm. And here, four is the best response. Uh, eight is the best response. Four is the best response. And, and eight. so sometimes four, sometimes eight is the best response. Hmm. So <clears throat> now if you want to make a guess of whether this strategy profile is a Bayesian Nash equilibrium or not, you can at least now uh, 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 make a more educated guess. So this was not an educated guess. This was completely a random guess. Now I have an educated guess. What is it? Firm one of type low plays eight. Firm two, uh, firm one of type two plays four. And then firm two is playing four, four. Is this, is this a Bayesian-Nash equilibrium? So now this is an educated guess. Why? Well, remember, given that firm two is playing four, four, here eight is the best response for type low. Four is the best response for type two. So I already checked that these two are best response, meaning player one of either type of player one are best responding player two. So there's only one thing that remains is four for best response for firm two. This is the only thing I need to check. Let's see if it is a best response. Uh, how, and then I'm going to conclude this episode. So how can I verify this or how can I check this? I don't know if it is a best response. Well, uh, well, kind of simple, right? What is the expected utility of firm two, given that the others are playing eight and four, and it is playing four, four, all right? Well, here, remember the second number always, uh, well, I'm sorry, the second number always belongs to firm two. So here, player one of type one is playing uh, eight, here it is playing four, and so player one is gonna get seven with probability Q, and then five with probability one minus Q. So if you add them up, you're gonna get what? Five plus two Q, all right? Well, how can I check if it is a best response? Well, what are other strategies player two has? Well, player two has three more strategies. So for example, what is expected utility of player two fixing other players' strategies. So instead of playing 4-4, for example, let's say he plays 4-8. What is gonna be his payoff now? Hmm, don't forget, this guy, low type firm one, is playing eight. So therefore, this is going to be the payoff uh, profile. And this type is playing four. So that means this is going to be the uh, uh, realized payoff uh, profile. And so firm two is gonna get 12 with probability Q and six with probability one minus Q. By the way, as you see, it is clearly better for player two, firm two, I mean. So if you simplify this, you're gonna get six plus six Q. And regardless of the value of Q, clearly this is higher. And so from, I don't really need to calculate the other payoffs, but what I at least can see is that four, four is not a best response to Firm one is playing eight. The firm one of low type is playing eight. Firm one of uh, high type is playing four. So therefore, this is not eight, four, four, four is not Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. Oops. All right. So this was an educated guess. Reiterate this logic or reiterate the logic or the things that you just learned. All right. And then uh, basically... Uh, uh, by doing this, repeating this exercise, you can come up or find the Bayesian-Nash equilibrium of this game.